You're listening to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Wrap on Desert Rock FM 96.5. G'day, thanks for tuning in to the Weekly Batuta News Bulletin, coming to you live from Koala Mattress Studios. My name's Bruce Hitchcock, and joining me today to wrap up all the biggest stories from the week that was is Wendell Hussey. Hello, hello. Great to be back in the Desert Rock FM studios for another week. All right, well, let's kick things off, shall we? We broke a story down south recently in uh, Australia's most European city, Melbourne. Yes, that's right, Bruce. We exclusively interviewed a Melbourne couple expecting a little bundle of joy in a few months who explained that they would be waiting until their child's 10th birthday for the gender reveal party. The Brunswick Yuppies took the stance this week, explaining that they would be throwing the gender reveal party for their new human whenever said human felt ready to label themselves. This comes after gender reveal parties, which are a celebration where either the guests, the expecting parents or both find out the sex of the baby have risen to prominence in recent times. The soon-to-be parents explained that they wouldn't be following the recent bogan trend of gender reveal parties during pregnancy by announcing it with a Commodore burnout or anything like that but that they would wait until their child was happy to make the decision on their own. Good on them for standing up for what they believe in. And Bruce, elsewhere around the country, ex-Newtown Jets player Chris Dawson has slammed the popular true crime podcast The Teacher's Pet this week. He certainly has. The alleged murderer left a scathing review of the Walkley Award-winning Teacher's Pet podcast before being arrested for his crimes that it brought to light. Mr Dawson, who was the subject of the podcast, was taken by Queensland police officers at a home on the Gold Coast a few days ago before being extradited to Sydney. Writing under the pseudonym of Big Dorso 69 the former fullback stated that he thought the podcast series was bullshit and flat-out untrue. He also who doubted whoever did his voice, which he claims is inaccurate and rubbish. Scathing comments from Dawson there. Back home in town now, and we covered a distressing scene in Batuta's French Quarter this weekend. Some kick-ons were ruined on Saturday evening by a local moron's inability to connect to a Bluetooth speaker. It's understood that the delicate pairing ceremony continued for at least 30 minutes, which for people at the back end of a big session felt like hours. Our reporters were told that the young man trying to pair with a Bluetooth speaker pleaded with his guests to stay until he sorted it out, but that his pleas fell on deaf ears as one by one his mates began ordering Ubers to get the hell out of what was now the scattered place in Batuta. Mm, What an unfortunate series of events. Elsewhere around town now, and we sat down with a local truck driver for a chat regarding his growing excitement about the festive season. Speaking to the advocate, local truckie Bill Kirkpatrick confirmed that he's stoked that Christmas is only three, maybe four sleeps away now. Speaking through clenched and gurning teeth, he explained that there's a few trips to Darwin and Perth left to do. But once that's done, he said while fidgeting erratically with his side mirror, there's a great holiday planned for himself and his missus down Port Macquarie Way over Christmas. Well, hopefully he enjoys that break. And on the sporting front this week, we've got a story from the local cricketing scene. One of our reporters was there when the local tailender majestically played a straight drive right through third and fourth slip. The young part-time off-spinner who normally bats eight or nine explained he told his partner he was seeing them like beach balls on the weekend right before edging one through the slips cordon. The man was then clean bowled two balls later by what he described as an unplayable delivery. Ah, well, there's always next week. And the same goes for the Bulletin, because that's a wrap for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast in order to keep up to date on what's been happening around town, around the country, and around the world. Until next week, I'm Bruce Hitchcock. And I'm Wendell Hussey.